The imperial system is so dumb, how does anyone make sense of this? Well, in reality, this is all regular people actually use. There's a small, a medium, a big, and sometimes a bigger. Each tier of the imperial measurements are based not on consistent ratios between each other, but on things people historically found intuitive. An inch is a thumb, and a foot is a foot. A pound is just a good basic amount of food to buy. Need more? Get two pounds. Or one and a half. Even in fully metric countries, you can see that packaging sizes are in the same range. A kilo is often too much, a gram too little. The same way you remember there's 24 hours to a day, 7 days to a week, so two people remember these. One upside with some of these numbers is that they divide better than 10. This, in my opinion, is fairly intuitive, but there are a couple of parts that aren't. 1760 yards to a mile. Luckily, there's rarely any reason to convert from miles to yards. You just say 1.7 miles. Yards are for shorter distances. Then there's a matter of the units that Americans and Brits can't agree on. They have a different definition of a ton and a very slightly different fluid ounce. Most importantly, though, a British pint is 20, not 16 ounces, making it and the British gallon a lot bigger than their American counterparts.